I would just say, like, don't use heat to, to beef up combos, because it's not gonna be worth it. You're gonna get a tiny bit more damage, and then you use up your heat, and now your opponent is gonna use his heat, and he's got a ton of recoverable health after your combo. It's even worse, you know, if you... As soon as you use this heat dash in a combo, look at his health bar. You see how much fucking recoverable health he has? Imagine he stands up now and does his heat burst. I'm not in a good position here. It looks like I'm in a good position due to, well, you know, he's lost 45% of his health. Not really. I, I would say I'm in the worst position here. He has a ton of recoverable health and his entire he heat bar is still there. Mine is gone. So, you really gotta think about this stuff. And again, it's like goes back to those of you who say, Oh, Tekken 8, you know, it's got less stuff going on than Tekken 7. It's so brain dead, they've dumbed it down for beginners and it's like, this game is a heck of a lot more complicated than Tekken 7. And rounds can play out in so many ways. Heat Burst is very powerful. Heat Engager is very powerful. Heat Dashes are powerful. You know, there, there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. But yeah, I would say Jin is in the, Jin is in the superior position here. That's what I would say. I used up my heat, but I put myself in a bad position. In my opinion, this is not going to be how you use heat. Um. But luckily, this Jin player is trash, so I win. Poor Arsenal T. So again, I, I get a launch. I don't use my heat. And the reality is, the scaling, when you do a heat burst in a combo, it's severe. You just don't get that much more damage. So yeah. That's a lot of damage. I still have my heat. Down back four. I have frames. Heat burst. Boom. I have frames. Pressure. So, that to me is how you're going to use heat, you know. Or, Heat Engager, plus 17. Take my mix-up. Don't use Heat. Save the Heat bar. Save the Heat bar. Oh god, I did a... <laughs> I did a dash on accident. Yeah, dude, don't do that. Don't do that. Do a, do a normal Demon pull. Yeah. Yeah, save your Heat bar. <laughs> nice blue shit. Uh... Yeah. Sorry. I came too fast. Sorry. Round one. Fight. I wish I could last longer in heat, but I, I, I just, I came too fast. So yeah, when you're heat, do this. Extremely strong neutral tool. And we stay in heat. When we're running out of heat, very strong move. Very... High damage health sweep, minus 14 on block, insane, more range than your normal health sweep, tracks quite well, also to your weak side. Very strong, very strong option. Yeah, it's only minus 14. Yeah, it's very strong, very strong. But also, like, remember, if you land a Heat Engager, a lot of people don't know this still, but you you recover a lot of your recoverable health. So again, as I combo Jin, you saw how much recoverable health he had. If he lands a Heat Engager on me, uh, he's gonna regain a ton of health. Okay, you know what this... I need to... He needs to hit me with jumping attacks so I can show recoverable health. Again, it's like, I, I love not having practice mode. It's a blast. But I, I'm gonna demonstrate this. A lot of people don't know about it. And the health bar actually glows green when you land a heat engager. 
to indicate I'm getting health again. Heat Engager is a powerful tool to regain health. Get ready for the next is this going on YouTube? Probably should go on YouTube. Because it's pretty good advice in, you know, in terms of heat. Fight. So again, I'm hoping Jin can do a, a couple of airborne hits on me, so I get recoverable health! Yeah, hit me while I'm midair. Yes. No, not when I'm grounded. Combo. Now, now look at my health bar. Round two. Thanks, Jin. Fight. It's like, why is it always like this when I record videos? Just nothing works. This is the tough life of being a content creator that doesn't use edits. Okay, one more. Okay, look at my health bar now when I land the heat engager, okay? I'm gonna do my defensive one. Did you see that? How it glowed green and a lot of health came back. Did you see that? A lot of people don't think about this stuff. But it's like, yeah, heat is complicated. It's complicated. So yeah, in my opinion, don't do what everyone did in the network test or the beta, which is just launch someone and then, oh, look at my big combo. I did 20 damage more by doing a heat burst into a heat smash. And then it's like, well, again, recoverable health is a huge deal in this game. It's a really big deal. So there's a lot to the heat system. And, uh... In my opinion, with Kazi and Paul, try and land a heat engager. Should you get a launch or punish someone by launching, don't pop your heat midair. Do your combo that's going to do a lot of damage even without heat. And then as your opponent is trying to stand back to their feet, you can try and pressure with heat burst. But also know that if Jin pops, pops his heat burst now, it's a really good, good thing if I still have my heat. Because if I heat burst back after his heat burst, I break his momentum. Uh, I can demonstrate this even I think with the uh, with the CPU here because they they love uh, popping uh, heat. See if we can get him to do it. I think he's gonna heat burst. What <laughs> is gonna blockable me? Heat burst? No, of course not. Because I might I might actually put this on YouTube. So AI is like, nah nah, I don't think so. Nope. Jin. Any day now, buddy. You have a big juicy bar there! But so basically, if you still have your heat after your combo and your opponent pops for heat with a heat burst, immediately as you see their cutscene, mash heat burst. Heat burst right back at them.